for a for the infrastructure of a country the imp most important pillars are quality metrology standards and accreditation we are working in these fields and today we have very good expert dr kartiani she is from iit chennai we have with us shri vijay dikshit our former director legal metrology government of india i would like to request our honorable director sir to kindly speak two words for inauguration of this workshop which is related with how the industry is developing and moving towards industry 4 then now the new concept of industry 5 is also on the way at the same time how we can take our metrology or the legal metrology in the new dimension we can discuss today with our esteemed expert shri b l dikshit sir would you like to speak sir yes yes thank you astoshi thank you katyani madam uh, so this is the our routine seminars on every saturday and uh, we are put, uh, taking different different uh, for the development of the industries consumers and the laboratories and uh, so many people so so uh, our legal metrology is also the pro industry pro consumers and uh, a very progressive topics See, and the legal metrology has been derived from the metrology so uh, if you will go to the legal metrology you will find so many things uh, so there is a act and there are the seven rules are there so, uh, that cover the packaged commodity rules and the standards rules and the general rules if you will go to the general rules you will find the lot of equipments are there where the new development is required uh, because a lot of the things are being made from the other countries and we are not able to develop those very things so i hope that uh, you the our esteemed guest uh, will be able to know about the subject about the electronic uh, uh, weighing instrument and the railway bridge and uh, so many things are there petrol pumps flow meters and other type of things where she will deliver the thing that how the industry uh, will get advantage to come into this very field apart from the other type of development which is uh, helpful to the consumers thank you astoshi i think that this meeting will be very successful thank you thank you very much sir for your kind words today we have with us dr kartiani ma'am uh, you are here can you switch on your video please she is ami from calcutta she has ms by research from department of management studies iit madras she is doctor research at iit madras she has lot of trainings and right now she is working as the head of this laboratory which is at iit madras central electronics center senior technical officer who will enlighten us about the new technologies how we are moving towards the industry four and where are the gaps in metrology and our quality and phoning can you start ma'am yes sir thank you thank you ma'am over to yes. ma'am please can you hear me sir am i audible sir yes ma'am please okay good morning next slide it is really a great honor to be here uh, with my colleagues and uh, to present Uh, or to create the objective is to create awareness of 
what are all the challenges we face uh, in the current scenario of advanced technologies and uh, to face the challenges how the things are changing in day to day activities uh, we will have an overview of those things okay to start with the presentation we will see the introduction first yes please present the first slide sir Yeah. So India is the fifth largest economy in world by achieving GDP of three point five trillion dollars. Okay, that is the good news, great news to hear. We will see how we are able to grow uh, in spite of the negative during the COVID times, and uh, it really gives me immense pleasure to capture from this. The current uh, GDP value and uh, start the overview of Industry 4, Quality 4, and Metrology 4. Okay. So, our country grows because of the manufacturing and service sectors, which are major contributors. And uh, to look into already smart fan manufacturing is in place, we could witness the smart manufacturing facilities and uh, they are delivering the services and uh, uh, our government initiatives are uh, really nice to see that even to address the different sectors like power, energy, agriculture and healthcare, everywhere we could see transformation happens. Okay, but we are unable to meet when the question of verification for compliance or regulatory requirements, meeting the regulatory requirements, still there is a gap. So the today's objective uh, is to understand how the things are in practice, okay, and uh, how are we going to face the challenges in terms of uh, metrological conformance with reference to our National Metrology Institute, as well as the quality aspects. Now the quality has taken a different dimension. So we are going to just have an overview of all these three. Uh, combining all these three, so you can look at the picture. It says that we have to gear up, okay? It conveys the meaning of, it is all together gearing up towards the growth. We are contributing to our growth, in turn towards the global growth, okay? So now we really do not understand whether the metrology four or quality four drives industry four and industry four drives metrology four because by the basic definition, it is industry four is fully automated and huge number of sensors are in place. Then when the question of sensors comes, then really measurements are going to take the dominant role. So industry four leverage on data driven simulation and innovation in quality. Whereas quality four talks about the digitalization of the quality in terms of technology processes and people. So when you look at the quality aspects, the origin of quality when it was established, fitness for the purpose. Okay, now it is something more more delight, delight at customers. And present days, it is customer experiences. Okay, more emphasis on customer experiences. In fact, it is customer taking part in the design of the product. Okay, so prosumers are contributing towards the quality four. So the major focus is on customer and customer take participation in the design itself and meeting the product specification, compliance to the regulatory requirements, everything plays a major role. But value addition to customers definitely improves the economic performance and credibility in the global scenario. But value addition, how it could happen? Understanding the customers, so customer focus is identified as one of the 
major dimension in quality four, then intelligent, more flexible, quick learning metrology systems are integrated into industry four towards promotion of interconnected factories to reduce the downtime and fostering the innovation. So when we understand the customer requirements, then the smart manufacturing really, it plays a major role, but we are unable to uh, understand the quality concepts and uh, metrological traceability. Uh, for example, to quote few examples, healthcare, okay, defense, and uh, all sectors, it becomes a huge complex system where the metrological traceability and uncertainty estimation are going to be very complex. Okay, so we will uh, see in the upcoming slides how it is going to happen. Yeah, please over to next. So we will just compare all the three dimensions. Industry four is nothing but the smart factory, which is by IoT Internet of Things, cloud computing, artificial intelligence and machine learning, edge computing through digital twins, cyber security. These are all in place already. Already some companies we could see they are progressing very well and they are able to meet the targets also. But quality four, once again, it is there are very few literatures available for quality four. Still, it is in nascent stage. We are unable to understand how it is going to be defined. Okay, digitalization of the quality system is one part, but understanding the dimension. Uh, it looks like it is fully automated and uh, nothing to play as a human being. It is not so quality professional, traditional value of quality, traditional understanding of quality, everything remains same, but it is intervening the automated system to reach the performance of the technology or systems through quality four. So the latest research on quality four, it comes out with comes out with strategic leadership, quality culture, customer centricity mainly talks about the customer focus. Then the system quality management system, compliance to the product spec and compliance to the regulation, then the competency of the people to upskill the knowledge to the latest technology, whatever it is. Then analytical thinking, this is going to be the very critical one, which talks about the interpretation of the huge data generated through the systems, metrics and data driven decision making. This is the one which is really complex, which is going to talk about the quality four in fully automated systems. Then advanced analytics, including predictive, predictive analytics to take care of the maintenance of the systems, entire systems. I'm sorry, ma'am. We are not able to hear you. Santoshi, is there any problem with the connection? Yes, sir. I think. Just talk I'm to her. Connection. It's coming. Okay. Mr. Junior, uh, Mike. She is, her mic is switched off. Oh, ma'am, your mic is switched off. We are not able to hear you.
मैडम कार्तिया नहीं Yes, ma'am. You are audible. We can hear you. Shall I continue? Please. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where the last so slide? The, I think. Last, yeah, this slide. Uh, please. Evaluation of industry last four. Slide. It started with industry one. Uh, it is based on steam engines, purely mechanical production during middle of the 18th to 19th century. Then electrification started as industry two, late 19th to 20th century. It is a mass production. So, so mass production concept has been seen during the second industrial revolution. The third one, almost we have seen from 1980s up to 1990, digitalization of industry three, electronics manufacturing, personal computers, and internet. And the fourth industrial revolution. Ajit, one second. It is from 2011 to till now. So the fourth industrial revolution has got impact, very high impact on the metrological traceability and the quality concepts, quality control, and the way how the quality control is uh, happening uh, during the online production, then quality assurance after delivering how the quality assurance is going to be established so with reference to that we will discuss how it was evolved and from the beginning so it originally started with the european craftsman during the period 1200 to 1799 then comes the standardization of the product with reference to the product specification 1800 to 1899 that is termed as the second stage then process based all the state Statistical quality control, statistical process control was in place and it was seen and it was established in the manufacturing sector. And all these things started with the manufacturing industries. Nothing was discussed with reference to the service sector. And during World War III, it was the issues with the suppliers, so supplier involvement sampling concepts have been introduced into the system then finally it was evolved as a total quality management towards the continual improvement then people have come out with iso standards or whatever models efqm models and uh, 17000 family and uh, european standards 45000 once again all these things with relevance to the manufacturing sector so nothing was established for the service sectors. Then slowly it was the same concepts have been extended to service sector. When the service sector started uh, applying all these philosophies from TQM concepts to understand the needs of the customer, establish the process as per the quality management system, as per uh, ISO 9001 or as per uh, 1717025, then the compliance with reference to the, that is technical compliance, uh, addressing the needs of traceability under ISO 9000 standards was established, then started with the Quality four concepts from 2011 till now, 
we are able to analyze the TKM contributed with the concepts of top management, customer focus, okay, employee involvement processes. So it was seen as people, processes, and products. And now it is with the disruptive technologies, the intervention of men, it is minimized, but still the concepts are remaining. Uh, concepts remain the same. And uh, it demands the measurements, whatever, integrated into the process uh, through automated technologies have to be achieved through digitalization. So the digital transformation, it happened in industry four. Then subsequently, quality four is partly able to meet because of COVID times. The virtual assessment, everything started doing it. And we are able to make it a partly digitalization happened in the quality systems also. We are able to witness the measurements and we are able to use the IoT of things to conduct the assessments and other things. Uh, but metrological traceability and compliance uh, for specification or meeting the regulator regulatory requirements uh, becomes very critical. So that is the reason why uh, today's objective is mainly focusing on digitalization of SI, which is happening now by BAPM and CAPM, which will influence the quality aspects as well as the automated process in industry four, so that everything will be delivered uh, through internet of things or through connectivity using advanced techniques. Next slide, please. So when these things are happening, how the quality systems are going to be assessed? So it is assessed as maturity of capability in five categories, level one, level two, level three, four, and five. So the quality systems are established with the processes and to meet the product specification, it is delivered. So the level one talks about the manual processes are driven through email and tracked by spreadsheet, which is normally happening. And level two is processed through mail and tracked by spreadsheet information shared. Now, of course, we are in level three, use of electronic quality management system, basic workflow, which will drive the quality processes, then document control everything. Then level four uses the common global cloud of EQMS. All are well connected with automation of process. When that happens, then the quality aspects will be taken care of by the automated process. Then to reach the level five, that will be really beneficial to reach five, which talks about the metrics or indicators of the entire system will be analyzed through the automated process itself. So in that case, once the maturity reaches to level five, then the quality capability can be assessed with level five. Then the systems are fully automated with the uh, digitalization of the metrological requirements, which will be in place. Then the industrial technologies to meet the product specification or compliance, whatever will be in place. And all will be with a huge data generated through the system and will be analyzed and interpreted to give the performance analysis of the 
the entire process. Okay. Once that is reached, then the improvement and uh, gap analysis, and it will have higher impact on the customer satisfaction because now the huge challenges what we face in today's scenario is uh, the criticality in time and how do we impact on customer satisfaction with reference to the quality of the product and uh, timely service of the products and services. If it is manufacturing, it is a product. If it is a service industry, what type of service? For example, during COVID time, we were unable to move, but we were able to have the virtual consultation, everything. Then they were able to deliver the reports. That should be the motive or objective to meet the future goals. So now there is a gap in the quality system or quality management, and there is a gap in the metrological uh, metrological uh, compliance or metrological traceability and issuing the digital certificates. If these are all addressed with the appropriate use cases using either iCloud or blockchain technology, then all together will have higher impact towards the economic growth of the country. But uh, this is being carefully executed now. So our National Metrology Institute already represented all these things. And uh, it is the work is being carried out. Uh, people are uh, working towards the research changes in the basic parameters, SI parameters, or using blank constants or towards the digitalization of the SI units. So once that is done, then our National Metrology Institute will be traceable through the connectivity to the primary standards of PIPM or NIST standards. Then the whole country traceability will be established through the digitalization of the metrological standards. Then it becomes easy for the digital calibration certificate at any point of time could be downloaded or accessible to the customer. Next slide, please. So, uh, previous, yeah, current challenges in metrology. More complex systems with the criticality of time. That's what I have explained during pandemic times and net zero targets. Okay, large number of sensors in automation because if you take the healthcare, then the robotic surgery, okay, robotic uh, spine replacement. If you see, there are so many sensors and uh, photo optic method is also used to generate huge data. Then every time to have a traceable measurement in that process is really complex. And uh, once the product is uh, delivered, then for uh, verification or uh, traceable issues, it is uh, not evidenced in our country. That is really a major problem in case of uh, healthcare industries. And our country is uh, seen as a major uh, healthcare hub. Chennai is a major healthcare hub. Okay. So our economy is developed due to the healthcare tourism, okay, and all other services, defense services, manufacturing sectors. So it needs uh, very uh, careful design and planning of how to establish the traceability in these complex uh, systems so that uh, the all healthcare will be uh, talking about the quality of care and satisfaction of the patient. So all these things, uh, it needs time, but it is being done. It is being implemented by, uh, okay, undergoing the accreditation uh, requirements and regulatory requirements, but still there is a gap in the system. We are unable to, okay, give the compliance uh, as a whole system. We are able to fit individually with the 
parameter wise it can be but as a whole system we are unable to verify the compliance criticality in data handling analysis to meet the customer expectation to be addressed need to establish the technology based measurements for reporting consensus metadata standards uncertainties in complex systems validation of data analysis through algorithm so this requires a yeah, continuous effort to come out with use cases for digital calibration certificate and uh, estimation of the uncertainties considering the different systems for different applications it can be different for uh, healthcare systems and it can be different for agriculture and it can be different for forensic analysis chemical analysis water analysis so so many sectors are there but it has to be carefully uh, designed to meet the requirements of the standard then the validation of the data analysis will be through artificial intelligence and machine learning methods these challenges necessitate the digitization of measurements and data centric approach in metrology so the today's whole topic is everything comes see even though the metrology measurements are not given enough care or uh, not given enough importance ultimately we are governed by the measurements whatever we do uh, in all activities so uh, i need to address say that uh, the department of consumer of us really they are doing a very good job in upskilling the people because mainly it needs the competency of the people and understanding the concepts and delivering results to meet the regulatory requirements uh, at any point during the entire process so conceptual understanding should happen so it needs upskilling day to day to ensure that you are able to meet the technology advancement and automated processes and uh, understanding the concepts of the sensor how it is used and understanding the specifications of those things and what about the cmcs and how it is transferred from our national metrology institute to our day to day working level all these things will come into picture so please go to the next next slide please yeah so digital international system of units that's digital si the international committee for rights and measures cipm has established a task group on digital si uh, this has been uh, represented in our uh, journal also mapan journal also uh, it has come out very nicely that saying that uh, it is being done the expert team was assembled in 2019 the grand vision guided by fair principles was the outcome in february 2021 so the fair principle based metadata that is quantifying the measurement accuracy see in case of metrological traceability the complexity is everything is different setup then it is the necessity of the person intervention to understand the concepts behind that measurements whether it is a direct measurement or comparison method meant what is the specification what is the compliance of specification and what is the Uh, accuracy or uh, specification demanded by the regulatory standard so all those things uh, play a major role so these things will be replaced by the digitalization process which talks about how measurements are made and workflow associated with that to produce the results using the data models uh, and uh, the machine readability from basic to a full machine actionable knowledge that is which will uh, enable us to do the automatic assessment it is like uh, already people are working on blockchain technology and uh, it has come out nicely with all the measurements using uh, using use cases you capture the measurements and estimate the uncertainty customer records then the customer will be able to access only the report okay automatically the traceability will be available to the customer in the blockchain when he request 
then the node is generated he will be able to access his uh, digital certificate and he can download and that has been seen in japan and uh, dubai dubai there is a blockchain technology center itself and uh, people are uh, really already implemented the systems using blockchain and uh, they are successful but the ultimate uh, objective is it is only for that community when you speak globally there is no unique system which will talk about how the measurements are traceable using the digital digitalization of the si units and using the digital calibration certificate and uh, everything will be seen in the tree and confidentiality will be maintained and the customer gets only the report digital calibration certificate and uh, if there is a review only the customer can access and get the authorized or validated digital certificates so keeping all these things in agenda the international conference on digital si uh, was uh, established the task group was assigned these things and objective was there should be a global system so there will be a common language and a common requirements and we are all traceable to bipm and from bipm comes individual country wise national metrology institutes then they get their uncertainties and from them all the secondary level working level or traceable and any process whether it is healthcare all sectors all will be linked okay really it is nice to imagine about all will be linked when the customer wants he can access like our banking online transaction okay it is similar to our banking online transaction we will be able to get our certificates with login password login process so keeping all these things in mind the grand vision guided by par principles uh, was the outcome in february 2021 so the machine readability everything is assigned so individual countries are taking part each one is assigned to have the uh, the data models and uh, the uh, use cases for the measurements and uh, for uh, capturing the measurements and assessing the or estimating the uncertainties and uh, reporting the results and uh, giving interpretation of the measurement result for the compliance of first file or whatever it is uh, it is being executed go to the next slide so the fair principle talks about at any point of time in the chain unbroken chain the data should be findable and it should be accessible and it is interoperable because now all are interconnected so it should be interoperable and reusable data and services so the grand vision by fair principle it was taken by the task task uh, group committee and uh, it is being executed go to the next slide so with huge data processing through artificial intelligence and machine learning for realization of metrological traceability this was the major objective or main focus on how to get the huge data and how to analyze it and uh, how to uh, report it was the main objective and in addition to that the digital representation of the measurement procedure whether it is a, a direct method or comparison methods what is the data associated with the comparison method and uh, how it is proved for establishing the traceability with the national metrology institute with little or no human intervention and these things can be automated with no human or with little human intervention because it is maintaining the international system of units uh, through digitalization then digital representation of data related to measurement key comparison and others this is taken as a separate process considering the uh, comparison methods and uh, other methods relevant to that the data will be kept in the database and it will be analyzed and it will be used for further traceability establishment and uh, provenance of the traceability chain go to the next slide so this is the framework i would like to discuss uh, because this is the one given by the uh, framework given by the committee it starts with the digital digitalization of the international system of units then 
the vocabulary for uh, metrology then guide for uncertainty in measurements then comes the comparison method database and unit conversion etc then it talks about the mapping of the common terminologies globally because now already communities are working on blockchain and icloud they are able to do the uh, valid calibration and they are able to report and fully automated and all the healthcare system you could see the advanced uh, uh, healthcare uh, technology is implemented everywhere so uh, really it is uh, surprising to see it is being produced also with uh, such innovation even in iit chennai also iit madras also we could see lot of products are being developed but unable to give the compliance so the compliance could be established one day with the digitalization of the si units so the ultima of industry 4 quality 4 everything leads to the measurements okay which needs the utmost care how it is to be digitalized and how it will be transferred to the working level and how it is verified automatically with the systems okay with the digitalization of the entire system that is being visualized now and the committee is working on that so once the mapping is done then it it is with reference to the specification digital verification regulations automatically it is derived then the calibration specification is derived out of that then the digital certificate of the country level national metrology institutes digital certificates then the measurement standard digital certificate of the measurement standard then it comes to the customer then to reg to meet the regulatory requirements it goes through the laboratory calibration testing verification for compliance then it goes for remote calibration testing verification compliance and uh, once again digital test reports or verification reports everything will be generated out of that then if there is a user inquiry or market supervision then it will automatically verify with the certificate and whatever is issued will be cancelled and the reissuing of the revised report with the authorized or validated signatory in digital form will be available all these things are possible with the machine readable system so machine readable systems are nothing but using either the blockchain technology or with the icloud systems so blockchain technology use cases even our students are writing but it is very expensive and uh, considering the risk associated with that people opt for icloud systems so people are working on iClouds. so once we are able to establish our national metrology institute with all this digitalization then we are gearing up towards the complete auto or digitalization or automated measurements to meet the global changes uh, i hopefully we could see that uh, the changes in the technology level and uh, changes in the quality systems and changes in accreditation uh, systems in current days are really challenging and uh, we are also upgrading ourselves uh, through online training sessions or uh, real assessments and uh, upskilling our knowledge also in this area to meet the challenges in digitalization of the SI units uh, and uh, I hope this is just to create awareness to understand industry for how it is whether it is established in our country or not yes it is established to summarize all our power energy sectors are produced all energy meters with the smart factories in uh, okay in tamil nadu it is there and it is there in gujarat and so many states are coming up with the smart factories we are happy that under make in india scheme we are able to see our own products it is nice mass production is done but when i see in person for compliance then 
the calibration is not automated testing is not automated production is automated even the production is in huge volumes then when the question of compliance comes it is done manually which delays the process so industry 4 yes of course it is in place and quality 4 it is changing uh, still we are adopting to iso 9001 systems and 17025 for the calibration and testing laboratories and uh, we have other quality standards and uh, integrated management is also in place we are uh, driven by the customer demands mainly we are driven by the customer demands and our agricultural sector is uh, really growing very well with the drones concept and other things. And food sector is in place. And the health care yes, needs to comply with the regulatory requirements. And uh, we are uh, working towards meeting the traceability for uh, health care systems. We are working out. Uh, and once the digitalization of uh, SI, takes place we will be ready to upgrade ourselves to meet the, the challenges in the system and we will be able to deliver our services go to the next slide so these are all the different uh, countries taking part implementation of high performance communication channels 5g networks cloud computing big data analysis it security and machine learning in us and npl uk reference to data science and 5G network towards digitalization of the industries. And PTB formulated a digitalization strategy in 2017 and it has come out with the next one also. Yeah, go to the next slide. So with all these things, our quality infrastructure in India is with reference to, okay, accreditation standard and uh, measurement. Uh, we are we are proud to say that we are in the fifth position with reference to the report global quality infrastructure okay it is ranked among 194 economies in the world and we are able to rank as the top 10 10th position with reference to the standardization under pas and metrology system under npl 21st position and uh, uh, we we are having very good infrastructure and uh, uh, verification compliance uh, as far as metrology is concerned uh, still we have to grow a lot to meet the requirements in the country and uh, we are working towards in iit also we are uh, working towards the innovation in technology as well as establishing the uh, calibration laboratory to meet the challenges faced by the healthcare and uh, other sectors uh, it has been uh, discussed and uh, we are working for the betterment of our country. So, which in turn will increase the economic growth or contributes towards the economic growth and well-being of our quality of life. So, with this, I think uh, it gives an overall impression of what we are today and uh, what we have to gear up in the near future and how we are going to act upon is uh, made very clear. Uh, I ask, uh, yeah, these are all the references I have uh, gone through to come out of this. Anyway, if I talk on quality, I can uh, keep talking, but uh, considering the time constraints, I think to create an awareness, we need to understand uh, quality is for fitness, purpose is gone now quality is discovery okay people have to be passionate to achieve the quality whatever is expected by the customer okay it is not what we define now it is defined by the customer so customers are stakeholders and uh, they participate in the design for example 3d printing or whatever smart factories the customer can uh, immediately can change and uh, factories are connected, interconnected, and it can be done at customer's point. So to that extent, it is changed. So it is for us to visualize, but uh, which is uh, missing is the people intervention or uh, people focus is not there. 
people intervention is uh, critical in all quality systems and uh, people have to be upskilled and the quality culture has to be implemented because due to the ch challenges what we face in the advanced technologies uh, we need to upgrade ourselves to fit the latest trends in technologies we have to upgrade but quality concepts remains the same meteorological concepts remains same but we need to upskill the knowledge uh, with reference to the latest technology advancement and challenges then we will be able to address the upcoming digitalization uh, or digital transformation uh, towards industry 4 and uh, quality 4 and metrology 4 so as far as uh, industry 4 is concerned it is demanding the metrology 4 has to take an, it has to take place so it has to be digitalized digital transformation has to happen it is that so uh, the whole world is gearing up towards that and uh, uh, as far as metrological uh, traceability and other things we are struggling a lot to, to achieve that traceability or to establish the traceability and give the compliance and uh, once the digitalization comes and quality infrastructure is established in our country definitely we will be able to uh, meet the objective of third place in economic growth from the fifth position to third position hoping to see the changes in the upcoming years so the next generations have to understand the concepts behind quality concepts behind the technology the core concepts remain same we need to work towards digital transformation that's it so it can happen in many number of ways and younger generations are very smart and smarter than us they will be able to make it to happen and hope to see the changes so with this i'll try to wind up for today's session and it is open for questions thank you sir thank you thank you very much ma'am for your uh, brief and uh, very informative lecture certainly uh, the requirement or the understanding of industry 4 and the quality four and what are the gaps up, up to some extent we can understand ma'am i would like to request you uh, if any of the participants would like to ask any question they may please first any of the participants if anyone wish to have any question this is would you like to speak two words Anybody else? Uh, so, Madam has spoken very nicely regarding the metric systems, rules, measurement, traceabilities, and industry requirements, and uh, how the industry will be developed and how the standards should be improved. National Metrology Institute and uh, our organizations. So I think this was the very fruitful sessions and uh, if you will continue this type of sessions, I hope the consumers and industry will be benefited and uh, at least we will get the good product in the market and which will be very good for the consumers. Thank you Astoji, thank you Madam Ji and thank, thank you for the participants. Thank you very much sir. I would like to request all the participants to kindly switch on their videos and switch off yeah. their mics. If they wish to ask any question, they may ask because we are taking the pictures for our social media portals, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, others wherever we are doing it, LinkedIn, etc. So my request is kindly switch on your video. And if you wish to ask any question, so now the point is we have to move towards the next level. Next that is. Level. Industry 4 and the metrology 4. How we can move further? As far as legal metrology is concerned, still we have to do a lot. Whether it is a smart meter, maybe energy meter, maybe gas meter, or maybe large number of uh, metering system which are now having uh, smart technologies. We are not able to use 
this, this particular technology in a proper way. We have to say how we can test, how we can verify sitting in one office, and if anything is happening, any tampering or any type of uh, malpractice is happening, how a ring is, uh, a bell is ringing, and we can see, yes, there is something which is happening. So all these things we have to come. As far as uh, blockchain technology is concerned, we have already started to upload the certificates issued by the government of India in the blockchain technology. Very, very soon, we will be having all the all the facilities available. And uh, the, we need a national portal. Actually, we need something where the legal methodology is connected with each other. And we can see that how we are working, where is the lacking, what type of equipments are not verified every year. So a lot of things, a lot of technology, a lot of requirement is still there. And we are certainly we are working over it. Mr. Ghosh, I think you have raised your hand. Would you like to ask anything? Please switch on your mic, Mr. Ghosh. Yes, sir. Madam said uh, very nicely, and the industry who are involved in the legal metrology aspects are, uh, are benefited, I think. And the co program which we have co coordinating, it's a very learning program, and many of us will be benefited from this program in coming days and near, near future also. And the thing which I like to mention, sir, legal metrology in modern days comparing to the others, uh, country, we are slightly lagging, which we, which, but we must have the hope and we must have the thinking that we must improve with the comparing to the others uh, country in the world. As a developing country, we must develop uh, our uh, aspects like there is a madam said about the healthcare and there are the various instruments during the robotic surgery and autopsies. Uh, and uh, various instruments in the lab also in the case of healthcare, which my, uh, human beings health is the main criteria of uh, every human being. So that aspects we must, if legal metrology, I pray to you, uh, if any, our legal metrology directorate makes any uh, laboratory to test those equipment as uh, um, and to rectify the equipment, if there is any problem with the healthcare hospitals or nursing home uh, management can't understand or doctors can uh, take care of that particular situation. Uh, so we'll, I think the society at large will be benefited from this. So I pray to you and to the director of legal metrology, to the ministry of legal metrology to look up to this matter and the things which are not done, uh, which are not verified, which are not uh, uh, get in the compliance or certification. Please uh, do something for us and for the society at, at large and the people of India at large to help them in all aspects of our life. Thank you, sir. And make this program, uh, I think it's a grand success and the new innovation is digital metrology, which you have initiated. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Certainly, we are trying our best to develop the good laboratories, to develop the new facilities, whether even right now we do not have the robotic mass comparators in our laboratories. We are working with the, we, even we are requesting engineering institutions to help us how we can develop this. My request is, who is so and is not speaking, kindly switch off their mics. So I think that uh, it is enough and uh, we will continue to meet regularly on every week, on every Saturday. Next week, next Saturday, we will meet with a new subject, new topic. With this, I would like to thank all of you are experts, national participants, international participants, and uh, my good friends from Nigeria and other countries who are participating in these programs. Thank you very much all. I would like to thank you all. We'll meet next week. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir.